Hi Sea Stars and welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I wanted to do soaping on a budget in 2024. So we have a lot of new makers coming in the Patreon, we're moving into formulation, and I kind of wanted somewhere for you guys to go to start at the beginning with your soap journey. So today we'll cover all the supplies that you are gonna need when you first start out soaping and what it would cost you in the year of 2024 to even get those supplies. So first things first, you're gonna to wanna to get a scale and you don't need like a super expensive scale. Like this one is a KD8000. It'll run you about like $49. You can start off with a food grade scale, which will run you about $16 from Walmart or Amazon. Um, you want something that can measure in ounces or in grams to be more accurate. The next thing on your supply list you want to get is an emulsion blender or AKA stick blender. With a stick blender, that's how we get to trace. If you want to expand your business later on and make um, things that have emulsions in it, like lotions, body scrubs, You'll definitely need one of these guys. And right now Amazon has them on sale with a $3 coupon for $26.99. I did post to Patreon where Costco had a sale on stick blenders, but $26.99 is the most affordable I've seen. I think the one at Costco was about 20 bucks, but I highly doubt they're having that sale. You can use KitchenAid, um, Cuisine Art. The one that I have is All Talent. And everything that I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description below so you can easily click on it, purchase it if you want it. Next thing you want, bowls and cups, measuring equipment that you can put your stuff in. So I have a cup dedicated to lye, my lye water solution. And with these, anything with soap making, you wanna make sure it has that five on it or at least a two to be on the safe side. You will find that like essential oils or soap batter can melt plastic. Uh, a lot of makers like to use stainless steel. You can find all your measuring cups, spoons, and equipment at like the Dollar Tree or General Dollar General. Start off with like a big mixing bowl and these will run you like $1.25. If you want to add colorants, you can get like small ones like these. Those will also run you about $1.25. Make sure you are checking for the five or the two at the bottom of your containers. I would start off with about four. So have one for your base and then three small ones for separate colorant. Those are going to run you $1.25 each. And then you would want like utensils to easily scrape out oils, butters, soap batter. I would get about two or three of these. And I like the ones that have like a slanted uh, crevice. So I can easily get into corners of my containers and it's going to scrape like the very bottom. If you're doing the double boiler method, having a container to melt down your oils and butters in, very handy. Um, I like these stainless steel bowls, $1.25, like I said, at Dollar Tree. You can even go to like Goodwill. And also ramekins or something to measure out your fragrance oils in. You don't want to use plastic cups. Uh, essential oils will eat through the plastic and melt them. Also for mixing in your colorants, a frother. I think Amazon's having a sale on it. Perfect day to do this video. Um, that'll run you about six bucks for a frother and it's super easy to mix your colorants in. Uh, next, we'll get into safety gear. Especially for your eyes, um, you would need some kind of safety glasses. These, um, they're not too expensive. They'll run you about six dollars if you get them from Amazon. I am hiring two people and I am going to train them with soaping. And it's looking like it's going to run me about eight dollars for these face shields i kind of want to test out the face shields that way if soap um, batter splatters their face is protected um even in between with wearing a mask i'm gonna see how the face shields work out also with the mask um right now i just use like masks that i have we did have the covid pandemic 
and I have tons of masks. Um, I did invest in like more of like a respirator mask and that's looking like it's gonna run me about $16. It's $15.29 on Amazon. Another thing when you're soaping, you kind of want to have like your hair tied back. If you're like me, I have a ton of hair. I'm a shedder. I don't want it in my products. I normally wear like a silk bonnet or a hat or a beanie. Um, that'll run you like five bucks. I got my pink one from Walmart. And of course you want gloves. So you can get like powdered free latex gloves if you want. I prefer using reusable gloves. They'll run you about $1.25 from Dollar General, but I love these because I'm trying to be more eco-friendly, use less disposable stuff, and they're perfect for soaping. You will save money though having reusable gloves. You can invest in these containers. They're cereal containers that I got. They will run you about like $1.25 each. And um, I got like scoops. They're $1.25. I like them because when I was in Alabama, there was like ants and stuff like that. I wanted to keep like bugs out of these. If you're from the South, you know you keep like your flour, sugars, in sealable containers. And then now we're gonna get into more of what you need to actually soap. And these are your ingredients. So first off, we have your lye, also known as sodium hydroxide. This will run you about $16 off Amazon. You can get it from a hardware store, your grocery store, but you wanna make sure it says 100% sodium hydroxide. I also like to make sure any um, any lye that I use is food grade. Next we get into the oils. So olive oil as you know is becoming super expensive. You can find this at your local grocery store. So depending on where you get your olive oil from it'll run you about like $23 just to start. There is a business plan you could do and you can eventually get your olive oil for free if you have Costco. So if you use Costco, you know you get like a rebate check at the end of the year. Let's say your rebate check is $1,500. You can use that towards your future purchase of olive oil, baking soda, whatever you have for your business and you get your supplies from Costco and it'll eventually be free for you. But we're not gonna get off topic because that's more of a business thing. So you wanna start off with like at least three oils. So you would have like your coconut oil that you can also get and then your olive oil. And then I use avocado oil as one of my light carrier oils. You can find this at your local grocery store as well. That's gonna run you about like $9 when you first start off. And then of course, if you want like bubbles in your soap, castor oil is recommended too. Um, castor oil seems pretty high, but you can also start off with your castor oil spending about like 16 bucks on that. And then now we'll get into like the molds. You can go to Hobby Lobby, Michaels, pretty much any crafting store and pick up a silk mold. So when you first saw me start off, um, I had these long wooden loaf molds. I got them built from a lady that did woodwork for about $20 each. So I got them fairly cheap at the time. Right now I see that Amazon has one for $9.99 and those are about three pound soap molds and they're perfect for you when you first start off. The ones from Hobby Lobby, they're pretty, um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels and stuff, they're pretty flimsy. So you don't want like one like this. They do have more sturdier ones, but mm, I would go ahead and just invest in the one from Amazon. And then you want to start getting into like additives, clays, so your essential oils. Essential oils, depending on where you go, you can go to Hobby Lobby's, any crafting store, get them for like 10 bucks. Um, I know there's like eight ounce ones from Virginia Candle Company on Amazon for like $17. You want to get colorants. So we're just gonna round out like all your extra additives. We're gonna add that to like $80. You don't have to spend that much. With colorants, you do wanna make sure um, they say for soap making, they're not for like acrylic and stuff like that. I prefer Mad Micas and TKB for my color mints. As you can see, they're super vibrant and I would definitely start off easy when you're first going. So, I mean, you can get one or two colorants, like don't go all crazy if you can get it. If not, 
definitely don't feel pressure to get it. And then last, you want to have something to cut your soap. So you can start off with a single soap cutter. It's about $9 off of Amazon. Or um, I started off with like a cheese cutter and that's, it's a little bit more than the single cutter. So it's about 20 bucks for one of those. And the one that I use now, I get a lot of questions on my soap cutter. It's an acrylic soap cutter. And that one runs about $85 now off of Amazon. All of this will be linked down below. But as you can see, our soaping budget comes to an end and we are sitting at under $300. Now, this is just a rough estimate. I'm sure somebody, if you do the research, you can find stuff and soap for lower. And in today's economy, it is possible for you to start off your soaping business with $300 or less. So don't think you have to go and invest like huge amounts of money to start off your soaping business because that that's not the case. And yeah, so I just wanted to do this quick supply video just for those that are just now starting off. And then our next video is going to be actually making a simple soap. Um, I will give you like a simple soap recipe with three oils and start you guys off with that kind of training academy. We'll call it the Sea Star Academy. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below. All the links will be in the description. And thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys next time.